this video is literally about connecting your iPhone's record box app to my RX3 and some of the issues that I ran into. Watched a bunch of videos online, went through a bunch of comments and read, and I just could not find really that much info about connecting these guys to the RX3. I found an old video of somebody using the record box app in like 2013 or something, thing it to their XZ, but nothing on the RX3. So what you wanna do is get that adapter kit, plug the USB standard USB in from the back of the device into your mobile device and then you want to turn off the Wi-Fi on your mobile device. This allows ProLink connection from your device to the RX3. Uh, once you do that, it should link directly and you will see if you go into sources, your iPad or iPhone come up as an option. Once you click on that, it's just like using a standard USB in the actual RX3 or CDJ, whichever you're using. But today we're talking about the RX3 and then you can play your whole set off that. You're able to see your crates. If you sync your device, you can sync it through your computer. Up in the record box, if you go down to the bottom, there's a little button that says search mobile. You click on that, mobile library sync. That's to sync your library. Click okay and it's gonna start searching for a mobile device. Inside of our mobile device, connect to record box. It's in the center, Mac Windows. See that in the center it says connect to record box, Mac Windows. And you use that basically to connect to your library. The record box app is $2.99 per week, $6.99 per month, or $49.99 per year. And you can subscribe to it all in the iOS app, which is kind of crazy. So with record box, the professional plan is 36 bucks, includes five terabytes of cloud storage. So it shows on the website, you have uh, one terabyte for all of the other plans. In the professional plan, it shows five terabytes, but for some reason, an asterisk on the site, it says professional plan subscribers are not eligible for cloud option. Regardless of these cloud options, you can still transfer crates and libraries via your network at home. You just connect your device wirelessly to your library. If you want access to your music library while you're on the go and you want it to sync without doing the whole sync through your network, you can use Dropbox. I'm gonna look more into that. We're gonna do a deeper dive into the music library with the record box and using mobile as well but this video is specifically just to show you how to connect the mobile device remember to turn off your wi-fi on your mobile device connect it with a usb cable and you need the usb b side either standard cable with an adapter like this a usb like a camera kit adapter is what it's called or you need a USB B to Lightning or USB C, whichever mobile device you have, iPad or iPhone that has USB C or Lightning on it. Hopefully, it helps somebody out there because I know for me, it was kind of crazy to dig for that information for the specifics on how to connect it. Uh, not that you can connect it because it says you can connect it every and anywhere everybody talks about connecting it but i have yet to see a video on somebody actually connecting the device to their rx3 specifically for me it was the rx3 so i've seen a video of the cdjs and i'll link as much information as i can in the description below so let me know your thoughts on using your mobile as a dj library is it something that you like is it something that you're open to or gonna try or is it something that you have have tried already let me know your thoughts put it in the comments below keep the conversation going i'm carl Carell. we'll catch you guys back here next week peace